Okay, now we're going. All right, you got those guys? Let me draw these too. Will you match those with? No, I have this two. This one is a nickel. Can you put them in order of value? Do you know how much each one of them is worth? Which one is worth the most and which is worth the least? One is worth the least. Okay. Five is worth the most. This one is a quarter. This one is a nickel or a five. This one is your right the most. Do you know how much this one is? Five. Okay, and what about that one? Ten. Yeah, so put them in order so that the most is on one side and the least is on the other. All right. This would make a lot of sense because this one is bigger, but actually it goes like this because if we were to give them rod values, they would look like this. Okay? Alright, so let's move these guys out of the way. And we'll get, dump those guys out. I forgot to get a dice. and a six-sided dice, you can choose. I want you to use the other one. So roll your dice. All right. Why don't you get coins to match your number? I'm going to be using one. Okay, you can start with ones. And I'm going to gradually go up. That makes sense. Would you like me to match what you're doing with the rods? Just see if you can trade for five, and I'll trade for five as well. Okay. Well, now hold on. If you trade five, you'll have something left over. How much do you have left over? Oops, I gave it. We have, we have seven. We had six, because we rolled a six on the dice. If we're going to bring in a five, a nickel, how many pennies do we need to put back? If you're not sure, look up here. How many pennies are in a nickel? Five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five is five. But we're going to take the nickel and take away five pennies. You we have to take ten. one more away. So now your money is worth the same as my rods. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, roll the dice again. Three. One, two, three. Okay. Put your pennies over here. Add them to your mother pile.
how will you get your eight? Just using ones. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, I really <laughs> I'm 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 getting rich. Oh yeah. Alright, so here's what it looks like in rods. This much money is the same amount as that many rods. Can you do any trading? I can trade a five. Okay. I can what trade. What does a five look like in coins? This. Yes. So bring another five. Can you trade? Two fives and two. Ten. Okay. What does ten look like in the coins? Yes. Yeah, so I'll get a ten stick. You get. Do you remember what that guy's called? A dime. Yes. You gotta take your two nickels out though. Otherwise, you won't match them anymore. Please. Mm-hmm. Because we took in the tens, so we gotta take out ten. How much money do you have now? This is not 20, this is 10 and five. 5. So 10 and 5 is? <laughs> 15. Okay, and one more? 51. 51? No. 15. 15. Or, if we were using these kind of rods, it would be. So you have 16 cents there. Or your dice again. We're using a four, but we aren't using fours today. We're only using fives, fives and tens and ones, because that's what coins come in. So can I trade? No. Roll again. trading my fives here for a ten. Which ones are your fives? Which ones are your nickels? Yes. You're going to take your two nickels and trade them in for a dime. Not as good as at spinning. No. 
No, they're not. Why don't you roll your dice again? Because they're done trading. Open this guy up. Roll again. We already had a lot of threes. There you go. A ten. Yes. How will you get ten cents? What will you do to get ten cents? I'm just going to use one. Okay. One. And now remember, you had twelve. You had two pennies to begin with, so you need ten additional pennies. Make a pile of ten, and then scoot them all together. those back? What are you going to get instead? A dime. Okay, nice job. If you wanted to have a quarter in your pile, do you know how to get a quarter? Okay. No idea. Well, let's look at that. How much is a quarter worth? Two tens. Two yeah. tens and five, which is? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, three dimes is worth 30. What could we do if we wanted to get a 25 out of that 30? Now you're not going to get rid of two of them. Not yet. First we need to break one of those tens, huh? So that we can have some fives. Don't you think? So you need to get out ten. Now, how many of those will you put back when you pick up your quarter? Two. You'll put back one nickel and two dimes. Because a nickel is worth five and a dime is worth ten, and you need to put back twenty-five to keep your pile even. Which ones are dimes? Okay, so put back. What else needs to go back? Yep, and then you grab... The really big drawing! That one, do you remember what it's called? A nickel. Nope, this one is a nickel. This one's a quarter. It's called a quarter because in a dollar, there are four. It divides a dollar into quarters. Does that make sense? You want to keep going? Yeah. Okay, roll again then. Getting lots of trees today. <laughs> yeah, I don't want the three. Okay, roll again. Oh, that's a good number. Yeah, it is. What kind of coins will you pick? Ones. Okay. Ones. What are the ones called? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What are those one coins called? Quarters. This one's a quarter. What are these guys called? Nickels. Pennies. 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 Nickels. Dimes. And quarters. And All pennies. Right. Yes, and pennies. What trading are you going to do now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four. Hold on. Which one did you, you grab this one? Okay, never mind. Five. Another five. Is this a five? Let's see. 
Yes, this one is. That's kind of a worn out nickel. All right. You still have some trading. Oh, I don't quite match you. You have two nickels and a dime. Okay, now I match you. So you've got a quarter, a nickel, a quarter, a dime, two nickels. I'm getting my so I'm getting rich. Indeed, you are. How much money do you have? We start with the big one first. How much is the big one worth? A dollar. It's worth a quarter. Or? Or ten five. No, this isn't ten five. This is? Five ten. How many tens are here? Twenty five. Yes, twenty five. And then I like to use a nickel next to make it a nice round ten number. So if you're counting by fives, you go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 40, 30, 30, 30, and then 10. 10 more we'll make. 30 plus 10? 40. 40. If we add 5 to 40, we have? 50. 45. 45. And one more is? 40. 45 and one more. One. What's the four next number after 45? It is 45 and 1. What's the next number after 45? I don't know. 46. 46. There you go. So you have 46 cents there. That is a load of cents. That is a load of cents. You actually can do one more trade. It might be easier for you to figure out the trade if you look at my piles. I have a quarter and these are my other coins here. What can I trade? So we'll put back five. That's a ten. We're not going to trade that one. Okay, and what will we get instead? Yes. And now it's really easy to see that there's 46 here. Because you got 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46. And you can do that over here. 25, 35. 45, 46. You want to keep going? Where's your brain full? Full. 